Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, your guys' channel, of course. Um, today, I want to do a quick video on shaving brushes. Uh, more importantly, I wanted to do like a crash course on what to do when you find a really cool handle at a vintage store, antique store online, yeah, but the knot is old, something like this. Right, this brush actually came with a really cool stand and an old razor, and it's really heavy. Uh, but I will never use this because it's literally falling apart. Right, so what do you do? Uh, very simple you change the knot, you remove that brush and change the knot to a knot that you will enjoy, you will like. Uh, a lot of people like Badger. Uh, some like bore and some like synthetic. There's a lot of vendors out there selling great knots and handles. Uh, you can custom make, uh, customize it to your need and what you like. So this is not a step-by-step -step how to do it. This is how some techniques that I use. It's more like a what to do. You kind of have to develop your own way to doing it. So here's a very good example love this brush uh, this is ceramic and it's gold it's real gold and ceramic and I actually have broken two of these uh, one was a white one and one was a blue one trying to remove the knot so you have to take into account the material of the handle you know plastic or resin plastic or resin copper brass metal whatever uh, these will obviously will be more resistant. So this is how I do it. Basically, chop the hairs off with dikes, diagonal cutters, however you want to call them. And it will look something like this. Right? And then I will take a Dremel and I will Dremel all that out. Now, if you are doing a ceramic one, please be careful. Use eye protection and use some gloves because these will break and when they break they it's like an explosion it's kind of it's kind of weird but after you clean her up it's gonna look something like this right and then you will have that space there and you will get a knot and install it how do you install it very easy you put the knot inside the brush with glue what kind of glue well a lot of people use the two-part glue the one that you have to mix it comes in a tube uh, some people use Gorilla Glue a lot of these vendors on the website they will have uh, glue that it was good for using with these brushes uh, some of the vendors could be on eBay I like to use uh, goldennip.com or yeah I'll post the the <laughs> The link down below in the description. But basically, when you buy a knot, it looks like this, right? And this is just badger, pure badger. Nothing fancy, nothing special. But I really like this ones. They're soft, and they come in a bunch of different measurements. So, first off, the diameter. This is when you hear people saying, "I got a 23 millimeter knot." What they're talking about is the diameter of the button on the bottom right so measure the hole that you have on your brush handle and by one that is I will say a millimeter uh, smaller there's a margin of error on these usually the vendor will tell you half a millimeter or whatever and that's how you install it now the bigger they're not millimeter wise usually the more hair will have the more full it will look. All right, so this one I know and I need a uh, 21. Now, the other measurement that you want to take into account is usually called the loft. And it goes from the top of the button to the top of the brush. And uh, some vendors will have the measurement from the bottom to the top. Okay, There's different shapes. I don't want to get into that. 
these will change the shape. It will look more full like this one. Uh, obviously these have it not been wet or anything like that. So uh, this is another example. This one uh, came to me from K Shape Works. Excellent handle. He makes his own handles. Beautiful, beautiful brush. Uh, this one I found at a vintage store and I changed the brush and it's really really nice I like it and I have many many more so that's basically it uh, if you have any questions on how to change the brush knot uh, on your brushes please let me know don't be scared to do it it's very easy you don't have to go spending a bunch of dollars on on a brush uh, or for somebody to change the knot all right that is it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.